Dot? Anyone? Somebody? Somebody help me! <sighs> what in the world? Well, I know what this looks like, but I thought it would be funny if I put myself in the cabinet and jumped out and scared people. I, however, did not factor in the fact that my shoulders are super wide. Mike, you know I don't like it when people jump out and scare me. And I don't like being in small spaces. This has been a lose-lose from the get-go. Come on, please help me. On the count of three. One, two, three. Be gentle! Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Ow! I was thinking about cabinets because of this postcard we got. Dear Connect HQ, how do I forgive my best friend who was so mean to me? From Jeremy. Didn't you, Luke and Harper, have a fight a while back? Mm-hmm. But I don't remember what we were fighting about. I think Harper said something mean to Luke, or was it the other way around? I know there was a chart. Quiet moment to enjoy eat my bag of gummy bears. <sighs> oh! Harper! You have got to stop swiveling around and scaring me in here. Mike, can you just give me some space? I'm kind of mad right now. Oh, yeah, you got it. Gummy bears, prepare to be eaten. Hey, Mike. Oh, I was not talking to my gummy bears. Could you give me a minute alone, please? Oh, what is going on here? Looks like we're finally alone, gummy bears. <laughs> Get out of here! I give up. Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is how we resolve the big fight. Go away, Mike! Dot, what is going on around here? Ask Luke! Okay. Why is Dot hiding in the cabinet? Oh, is she? Well, that's a safety code violation 8865. No hiding in small. Spaces. But why is she in there? Ask Harper. Harper, why is Dot? Don't even ask. Now what? Dot, come on out. Nope, I live here now. Luke said there was a safety violation. He would say that. Everything is all safety this and safety that, but he never listens. Got you to come out of the cabinet though, didn't it? No that you're out of the cabinet, why don't you tell me why you're in there? I'm mad, and I wouldn't be so mad if Luke hadn't told me what Harper said. What did you say to Dot? Oh, I'm surprised she noticed. No one pays attention to me around here. Is that why you're angry? You know, with all due respect, you weren't there, so you don't know. I do know that being angry and negative all the time is unhealthy, oh. Oh, so now they've got me acting unhealthy. Oh, mm. You know, I told Ray that it would be difficult working with kids. And now, look where we are. Look, Mike, look where we are. You know, I'm not saying sorry until Harper says she's sorry for what she said, I said, Dot said. He said he won't apologize until you apologize. Well, I'm not apologizing until Dot apologizes about what she said, that Luke said, that I said, that he said. <laughs> C 
seems like the closer I get to the truth, the farther I am away from it. I just need to move forward. Soon, gummy bears. Soon. Oh, I, I wasn't talking to my gummy bears. waste of time. You need to apologize and end this whole angry thing. I'm not sorry. What is going on around here? That is no way to love each other. What do you mean? The Bible has so much to say about the word forgiveness. Like, here, let's go into the Bible app and look up the word forgive. Would you look at that? There are almost 80 verses on the word forgiveness. What am I supposed to do? Memorize them all? It's not about just memorization, it's about doing and putting it into practice. Here, let's try the first verse, Colossians 3.13. Do it with me. Do we have to? It'd be so much easier just to live in that cabinet for the rest of my life. That's no way to live. God has forgiven us for a bunch of stuff. It's how he shows us that he loves us. So we should forgive others just as he does. Come on, say it like this. Colossians 3.13. Colossians 3.13. Remember. Remember. The Lord forgave you. The Lord forgave you. So you must forgive others. So you must forgive others. See, we can put others first by forgiving them the way God forgives us. Mm. Just think about it. Think about it. What a day, am I right? Today has been a disaster. Speaking of disasters, um, remember all those near disasters that I've caused over the years? You know, I had a little binder that I named Mike's Mishaps. And they kept track of all the times you messed up. What happened to it? Well, I threw it away. Why? Because I realized that I had to let it all go and put you first because our friendship is worth more than any argument we've ever had. So you're not still mad about all those things? Nope. Not even the time I spent the entire day making you sit on ice cream sandwiches? <laughs> that was a long day, but I forgive you. Or how about the time I stuffed cacti in all your pants pockets? Now I learned to take some deep breaths and forgive you for that too. Why? Because that's how God loves me. God's love forgives. Is there any point to all this? I think you just discovered the point. God's love forgives. Just something to think about, you know. Just think about it. Maybe a little. Are you? What? Thinking about it. I think I've got it. Ooh. Harper, do you know what 70 times 7 is? Maybe if I had some paper or calculator. Or you could watch this Bible link I found. There's a Bible link about math? Oh, sort of. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God. is alive. I was playing basketball with my friend and he said something that made me really mad. It's not easy to forgive when we feel like that, is it? Who said anything about forgiving? Besides, I've forgiven him before. Do I have to forgive him again? 
In the Bible, Peter asked Jesus a question just like that. Peter asked if he should forgive someone seven times. Seven times? That's a lot. What did Jesus say? Jesus said we should forgive someone 70 times seven times. Let's see, zero times seven is zero, and then seven times seven is... Wait, I'm supposed to forgive him 490 times? How am I supposed to keep track of all that? That was Jesus' point. We aren't supposed to keep track. We're just supposed to forgive every time. Jesus told a story so Peter could understand. A king had a servant who borrowed millions of dollars from him. That's a lot of money. You could buy a lot of basketballs with that. Right, and there was no way the servant could ever pay the king back. The king ordered that the servant and his whole family be sold. That meant they would all be slaves, even the kids. The servant begged the king for more time to pay the debt. So did the king give him more time? No, the king did something even better. He forgave the servant's debt. He erased it, like it had never even existed. Whew. The servant must have been happy. He was. Then the servant left the king and went to another servant who owed him money. Not millions like he had owed the king, not even half a million. The guy owed the servant a few thousand dollars. The servant demanded instant payment. The man begged and pleaded, but the unforgiving servant wouldn't listen. He had the man arrested and put in prison until his debt was paid. That's awful. The king thought it was awful too. In fact, when the king found out what happened, he ordered the unforgiving servant to come back. Uh-oh. The king asked the servant why he had been so unforgiving when the king had forgiven his huge debt. Then he put the servant in prison until the debt could be paid. Jesus said that when we don't forgive others with our whole heart, we are just like that unforgiving servant. Ah, oh, I get it now. Since God forgives me all the time for small things and big things, I should do the same and forgive others. Well said, my friend. Well said. See, no matter what was said. But Mike. No matter what was said, we shouldn't just apologize a couple of times. Jesus said to forgive 70 times seven or 490, also code for infinity. But this time is different from, I'm sorry I took your toy, or sorry I bumped into you. My feelings really got hurt, and it's hard to let go of right now. I understand, but just as the Bible link showed us, God forgives us for the small things and the big ones. And if God's willing to forgive us, we need to show His love by giving others that same kind of forgiveness. I get it, but it's hard. Well, take some time. Think about it. Dot? Dot, I'm sorry. Harper? I'm sorry. Luke? I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> hey. Listen. I wanted to. Sorry. <laughs> you go. Well, I was hurt by what was said. It was hard to move forward. But I was thinking how Jesus says to forgive 70 times 7 or 490 times. And I've realized I've been forgiven for so much. Yeah, I was tucked away in my cabinet doing some thinking about how I can follow God's example and forgive others. I guess I was thinking how God's love forgives and your friendship is worth way more than any argument. I apologize. Me too.
We learned a lot about forgiveness today. Hey, maybe we should make a connection transmission for the archives. Yeah. Just in case, you know, we ever get in a fight again. Maybe Mike would want to help. He helped me out a lot today. Me, <laughs> me too. too. <laughs> maybe we should find him and thank him for helping us get over our anger and hurt feelings. I'd wait on that because I think he has some unfinished business with, uh, some bears. Thank you, God, for forgiving us so that we can know how to forgive others. And thank you for finally a peaceful afternoon with these gummy bears. Amen. I'm Harper. And I'm Luke, and we are Connect HQ, and we discovered something very important today. And the Bible tells us this in the book of Colossians. Colossians 3.13. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. God forgives us for so much. We can love like He does by forgiving others. God never stops forgiving. So Jesus says we should forgive 70 times 7, or 490 times, which is like code for infinity, we show God's love to others by forgiving everyone, no matter how many times they've hurt us. It's not always easy to forgive, but it becomes possible when you think of what Jesus has done and how he dearly loves each of us, even when he knows everything about us. Choosing not to forgive makes you act negative, angry, and mean. That's not healthy, but when you choose to forgive, you are open to grow, change, and love more like Jesus every day. God's love forgives. We can too. <laughs> Hope that helps. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Forgiveness can be hard when someone says or does something that hurts your feelings. Yeah, that's right. And you know, instead of hiding in cabinets, I should go look up that connection transmission for Jeremy. Sounds good. <laughs>